Hey, it's Andy from SmartWP, and today we're going to be going over four major changes in Elementor Pro 3.1. If you're unfamiliar with Elementor, it's a page builder for WordPress, and Elementor Pro is the paid version, and they've announced four new changes in Elementor Pro 3.1, so let's just go over the changes. We're going to hop right in. So you can see we're on our Elementor demo site here. Now let's go into the dashboard, and we'll go to plugins, and I'll just show you that we're using the correct version. So you can see we have Elementor Pro and we have 3.1 installed. Now the first major change is they now have an option to add custom code to your header and footer. This is great if you have custom tracking codes you wanna add, and I'll show you how it works. So on our left side here, we have Elementor, and you can see we have a new option here called custom code. So let's hop into that. Now the custom code option, we need to create our new custom code. And you can add a title. So for example, you can add Google Analytics or Google Tag Manager or any other kind of tracking codes you're trying to add. And you can pick where you want to add it, uh, for example, in the head. Additionally with this, you can add meta tags and other custom things. For example, if you're trying to verify Google Webmasters, this would be an easy way to do it. So let's just add an example code in here. So for example, this is the Google Analytics code from minimalanalytics.com. And you could change your tracking code right here to make it work. Uh, and let's publish. And you can pick where you want it to show up on the site. So if you just want it on a single page, like the home page, super easy to do. We'll have this show up on the whole site. So we'll save and close. And let's check out the home page and we'll view the source. And you can see we have our custom code snippet here. So a super easy way to add custom code snippets to your site. So the second big change in Elementor Pro is improved asset loading. So if you're unfamiliar with that, it's a new option in Elementor. So let's go to our dashboard and I'll show you what I'm talking about. If you go to Elementor, Settings, and go to experimental. This is still a new option, so it's definitely not advised to use this on a production site yet, but you can see here it says status alpha, and this is the improved asset loading. So you can turn it on here if you want. Basically what this does is it improves the assets loading on your site, obviously, but that is basically done by not loading in widgets and things you're not using, while previously Elementor would load everything in. So I think over time, we're gonna see some good performance improvements from this in Elementor. And the change that they did in Elementor Pro is all the widgets in Elementor Pro now work with this feature. Now to talk about the third change, we're actually gonna edit our homepage and it's the new code highlight widget. So it actually lets you highlight code. This is great, for example, if you have a development blog and you wanna highlight code, for example, JavaScript, HTML, PHP, and I'll show you how it works. It works with a ton of languages, so obviously, no matter what you're programming in, it'll Will most likely work with this. So let's edit our page in Elementor. And you can see now we have a new widget called Code Highlight. We'll go down and we'll add it a little bit lower to the site. Let me add it in right here. And you can see it perfectly highlights this JavaScript code here. And if you go to the drop down, you can pick what language you're using. For example, PHP, CSS, any language that you're probably using is in this list. And this is a great way to actually highlight code on your website. Super simple and super elegant. And it has a nice little copy button for people visiting your site. Now the fourth change is actually to animated headlines. And we have an animated headline right here. So I'll show you some of the changes. You can now turn off the infinite loop. So now it'll only play the animation once when the page loads. And additionally, you have more options here for the highlighted text, before text, and after text. You can actually pick dynamic tags. For example, we can pick our site title and it'll show up after. This is great if you're actually building a template that uses animated headlines, so you can actually use that in a templated system. And that is the four major changes in Elementor Pro 3.1. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe, and thanks again for watching. See ya.